You give us three minutes, and we give you the world. Good evening. I'm Casey Wong. A military submarine that went missing over three years ago has suddenly reappeared in the Baltic Sea. Confused seamen mistakenly opened fire on the last Lapland reservation, killing 12. Thankfully, our homesick sailors are back on U.S. soil. Welcome back, boys. In local news, a new crime wave that is sweeping Detroit has already claimed the lives of 21 police officers. Here's a statement from the head of OCP, Omni Consumer Products, that's funding and running the Detroit Police Department. Old Detroit has a cancer, and that cancer is crime. It must be cut out, and OCP holds the scalpel. According to our sources, the attacks were aimed at catching the attention of a man whose identity remains unknown. This dangerous new guy in town seems to have his eye on doing business in old Detroit. Your filthy hands off me. Shut I'm sorry. Uh, there seems to be a, a, a... Disturbance? I'm a big fan. Now move! Don't adjust your television sets. Your regularly scheduled program will be back shortly. Now, this message goes out to the new guy in town. It seems that you're looking to spend some money in this great city of ours. I'm here to tell you that the Torchheads are open for business. You may have heard of us as the number one supplier of Nuke in old Detroit. The most potent addictive drug available in front of every convenience store, school, or library near you. But that's not all we're capable of. Let's get you up here. We'll uh, get Officer... Officer Howard to illustrate the point. You see, Officer Howard made a drug bust that cost us a lot of money. We want to reward this dutiful officer with a performance bonus. A lifetime supply of nuke. Oh, man, you're gonna have the time of your life. There you go. Enjoy. New guy. Us Torchheads are more than capable of doing whatever you need done in our city. So what is it, huh? Arson, smuggling, drug dealing, good old-fashioned murder. We do it all. You've got the money. We've got the power. So let's talk. <laughs> Good to see you, Murphy. Lieutenant's at the main entrance to the TV station. The ground's shaking. Judgment Day is here! Came out of the trucks and they, they, they just started shooting at anything that moved. I can see your lady is still quite shaken up. I'll get one of the I wouldn't bother. I already ran the plates. 
You should know by now, when it comes to evidence, we're hoarders. If it keeps on like this, we're gonna run short of body bags. I'm gonna give you 10 milligrams of diazepam to make you come. situation. Goddamn OCP tells us to stand down till SWAT arrives. That's our situation. Looks like I'm on the way out. Not so fast, buddy. Who do you think is gonna clean up this place? I'm not letting you off that easily. You sound just like my wife. If that's the case, let's get you patched up. We wouldn't want to get on her bad side. Press here. Medic! You are partner. Lewis. The hell is going on up there? Sorry, dude. The police want us to release the hostages. So no hard feelings. Hey, you, you can't go in yet. We need to wait for the reinforcements. Reinforcements have arrived. I knew you'd say something like that. We need to find another way. It is too dangerous to cross. For me. But you can take the heat. Go. I'll figure something out. Besides, you could do with a head start. Go on.
personnel. Evacuate immediately. Warning. Worried about the weight limit? Lewis, you're here. We need to get these elevators back online. The service box is in the basement. Let me. I doubt you had time between all the heroics, but I got a key card from the janitor. It's good to do some real street work from time to time, you know. After you. They sabotage the elevators in staircase two. They obviously don't want to be disturbed. That graffiti is fresh. I bet some of those idiots are still here.
I am detecting a short circuit. We need to isolate the cables. I think I've got something just for that. You are very resourceful. Thanks, but I'd say it was a team effort. They're holding everyone in the studio. It's on the 30th floor. decided to join our glamorous show. I'm afraid you're too late for my autograph. Chopper's ready. I've got to go, but the party goes on. Guys, make sure you provide all our guests with a decent amount of amusement, so don't skimp on the nuke. See ya. What a freaking psycho. We need to be quick before they kill anyone else. I know that look, Murphy. You saw something, didn't you? We are here to enforce the law, Lewis. Let us stay focused. Right. Just keep in mind that I'm here if you need me, partner. Slime bags detected. Just look at that, boys! The police dog and its bitch! Not sure which one is which! <laughs> You're gonna take that back!
thank God you've come. This lady really needs to see a doctor. Murphy, these people need help. Why don't you go ahead? I'll stay with them. Right. This is Lewis. We have rescued three hostages, one with a gunshot wound to the abdomen. Requesting urgent medical assistance. Over.
Sure thing, Mom. What are we having? It's a surprise. Little man, have you washed your hands? Do I really have to? I wasn't playing in the dirt. Alex? What do you think about the color of this dress? I'm not sure if I like the pattern. James really looks up to you. He said in school that he wants to be a police officer just like his dad. We cannot let him pass! Kill the hunt! you think? Wakey, wakey! I'm talking to you, Shiny! Stand back from that door, or I'll shoot her! I swear to Nuke! I don't know what I would do if I ever lost you. You've got three seconds! Three! Our family is the only thing I need to be happy. Two! Are you fucking deaf? Promise me, we will stay like this forever. One! Last chance, weirdo! You okay there, Murphy? What does it want? Get it away from me! I am sorry. Can't you see? It's unstable! Ma'am, please, calm down. It's been a very tough evening, and I assure you that everyone wants to be back home with their families. Though for some of us, the night has just begun. No problem. Can you take singles? Get back in line. They're here. Good job, Murphy. I think you're forgetting someone. Officer Lewis, you were remarkable. Soot ran off with his tail between his legs. Would have been nice if we caught him, though. All right, all right. Are you done with this circle jerk, huh? Good. We've got a problem. The malfunction caught on camera provokes a question. Can we put our safety into the hands of a machine, especially one as unreliable as Robocop? We asked Max Becker, the head of security concepts at OCP. Now quiet. We would never put a defective product on the streets. That's not what we do. We all saw it hesitate in a life and death situation. Why? Does it really know right from wrong? Listen, I would trust this guy with my kids. 
I mean, if I had it. This was just an isolated glitch. Thank you. Mr. Becker, I I've got more questions. I just want to snap her little neck. But she's got a point. This was not an isolated incident. It's a pattern. A pattern that the old man once examined and fixed. Time to see what's hiding in that metal head of yours. We know what's in Murphy's head. It's what's in yours that worries us. Push me, and you might just find out. You, follow me. Everyone is dismissed. And Lewis, I need your report on the TV station incident. On the double. On it, Sarge. No way. Murphy! I can deal with blood, guts, but puke is a no-go for me. Oh, be a sport and move his ass to the drunk tank for me. You've got your special gloves and extra protection, so you shouldn't mind. Just take him downstairs. I owe you one, Murphy. Oh no, the smell is following you. I'm gonna be sick. I don't remember getting on a, a roller coaster. Look who's back home. Just toss him in one of the empty cells. Ah, uh, finally. Home. Sleep tight. Robo pig! Why do you have to spoil our fun all the time? You metal freak! Fixed. Don't hold your breath. OCP isn't looking to spend a dime on our equipment. What seems to be the problem? <sighs> My damn locker won't open. Can you try? Wait, what is all this shit doing in my locker? I wanted you to be safe out there. Yeah, you guys, very fun. 
Where's my favorite walking, talking law enforcement machine? Okay, let's get on with it. Why don't you take a seat for me? That's a nasty scar. I'd like to see the other guy. Am I right? You do not. Trust me. Don't mind me. I'll just get this off. So, here's the deal, Robo. The old man is not happy with your performance. Instead of sending you to the scrapyard, as I suggested, he wants to fix you. Hey, pretty boy. You sure know how to make an impression on the ladies. Doesn't it hurt him? Hurt? Lady, he's a machine. He's legally dead. We can do whatever we want with him. No, madam. It does not hurt me physically. So we're going to equip you with a little monitoring chip. It will do a real-time check of your systems, so we can get to the bottom of what the hell is wrong with you. From now on, your performance will be monitored and graded. So, better be on your best behavior, huh? The chip is in. Let's see what we have here. Well, I can already see some unwanted activity in the hippocampus. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Other than that, everything seems to be installed correctly. To be sure, let's make a simple test to check that all circuits are in order. What are your prime directives? Serve the public trust. Protect the innocent. Uphold the law. Okay, nothing disturbed. 
However, like with any new upgrade, I recommend visiting the range to check if you need calibration. Is that everything? Actually, no. Doctor? Oh, yes, sorry. Uh, my name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. I'm a police psychologist. I specialize in dealing with police officers suffering from emotional trauma. Emotional trauma? Might as well talk to the microwave. It hasn't been working properly either. OCP wanted to see if you'd be willing to have a talk with me as part of your evaluation. I noticed that a great deal of care has been put into making sure that your mechanical components work. However, one aspect of your composition that has been severely neglected is your human side. Your brain. I agree. If it was up to me, I'd remove it altogether. What do you think, Doctor? Would save us a lot of hassle. I don't mind the hassle. So what do you say, officer? Is that possibly something that could be of interest to you? I am not sure. Robo, Reed wants everyone in the briefing room in five. It's about the new guy. Excuse me, Dr. Blanche, but I am needed elsewhere. Uh, but we... Well, can't say we didn't try. Everyone get back to whatever the fuck you usually do around here. is what OCP calls a passing grade. Shouldn't be a problem to you. Not even 50, huh? Maybe they really did mess you up in that lab. Why don't you try again? Not even 50, huh? Why don't you try again? Not even 50, huh? They really did mess you up in that lab. Why don't you try again? Not even 50, huh? Maybe they really did mess you up in that lab. Why don't you try again?
<laughs> Not even 50, huh? They, they really did mess with it at last. Why don't you try again? Not even 50, huh? Maybe they really did mess you up in that lab. Why don't you try again? Not even 50, huh? Maybe they really did mess with you. Why don't you try again? Job. I'll let the eggheads know that you're good to go. See you in the briefing. Today's agenda. The agenda is that you sit your ass down and listen. It's no secret that crime has been on the rise ever since what the media has named the new guy in town showed up in the city. The word on the street is that he wants to spend a lot of money in old Detroit, and that has made every gang in the city start advertising their services. We need to find him before things get out of control. Where do we look? Our best bet is to see if he made contact with the Torchheads. Robo, I want you to start by checking the arcade downtown. It's become a high activity area for punks. Understood. Everyone else, keep your eyes open. Any questions? Any word on Briggs? What happened to Briggs? He's been missing since yesterday. Shit. Officer Briggs remains missing. That's over 24 hours since he's been in contact with anyone here. Are the two cases connected? No reason to assume so. But if anyone finds Briggs' informant, we might learn something new. All right, now get out there! 
You go ahead, partner. I need to write this report. And there's something else I need to do first. City, didn't you? It'd be easier to burn it all to the ground. Believe me, just burn it all. One parking ticket is all it takes to improve mindfulness. threatened to burn down my shop. Hey, you need to do something about it, officer. What do you want, cop? Can't we have a little bit of fun? We did nothing wrong. Your volume control seems to be broken. Leave it! That's brand home. new! I've only stole... Thanks, officer. This area is off limits. You need permission to get in or a warrant. I always wanted to be a cop. I even applied to the academy, but it turns out that extensive criminal history and drug addiction prevent you getting in.
Oh, shit. Those are some nice looking dentures. I hope they fit. It's getting colder. Now we don't have anything for the fire. Uh, how was I supposed to know someone would steal our old tires? Can you help me out here? Be a man, pig. Why make such a big deal? How can I assist you, officer? I'm trying to catch this one shifty dealer. This guy steals nuke from other pushers to sell it at half price. This dope head buys from him but won't tell me his whereabouts. I don't know any dealer. You were carrying for three different pushers, so you either like to walk for miles to buy nuke, or you appreciate a discount. Don't take it out on me, because the guy broke your nose? As you can see, he doesn't want to cooperate. Do not worry. According to my directives, there are several ways to convince him to cooperate. I, I ain't gonna let it reprogram my brain. We can talk, but don't let it drill into my head, okay? The guy's name's Maurice, but I don't know where to find him. I always arrange a place over a payphone. I'll give you the number. Let's hope it works. The dealer knows where the others hide their stash. We could collect nuke from the whole neighborhood if we get to him. I will take care of it. But you need to find a payphone first. Try near the supermarket. I think at least one of them hasn't been smashed by vandals yet. trying to steal my cart. Look what he's done! Have I just wrecked your life savings? Tough shit, stinker. Antisocial behavior towards a fellow citizen can be classified as a crime. The lesson for the future, to save yourself the trouble. Clean up on the double. You can't do it. I was only messing. I could have just picked it all up. Hey, you tell him, robot man! What a fucking joke! Something is coming. I can feel it.
Littering is prohibited. What was I supposed to do? I've missed the garbage collection and we had fish on Friday. You have no idea how much it reeks. You violated the law. Oh, man. So I pay the city for not removing my garbage and now I have to pay for removing it myself? That's ridiculous. The moral is, stay away from fishy activity. favorite TV star. <laughs> Thanks to you, Kurtz finally had a reason to watch something other than the fast food channel. I was merely doing my duty. That kind of hostile situation is not the only thing I can resolve. Can you tell me what happened here? Nasty murder. The victim is a white female, mid-twenties, identified as Casey Carmel. Had a history of petty crime and prostitution, but, uh, Believe it or not, that's her real name. Any leads? The case is closed. OCP won't spend a single dime on the murder of a prostitute. Cost optimization. Fancy name for we don't give a shit about poor people. So if you were to look around the crime scene, you would potentially be exposing OCP to extra costs. If you want to do that, be our guest. Is that homeless man considered a suspect? Nah, we know the guy. You can rule him out. The guy's a loon, a mental patient. He thinks that aliens dumped the body here. Talk to him if you want. Uh, <laughs> just prepare to hear a tall tale about green people. Do you have any thoughts about that murder? I bet the girl was killed somewhere else, uh, and the body was only dumped here. We got the tire tracks, drag marks. Uh, if we find a car that matches, we'll find our perp. Yeah, I guess the perp had his hands covered in some green-blue guacamole-ish goo. Uh, the body's covered in it. Why does it always come back to food with you? Anyway, we need to do a proper analysis. The best way to cut the costs of policing is to cut the criminals down. Tell me about it. I didn't join the force to pick up dead bodies off the street. Yeah, but what can we do? I will look around. We must bring the murderer to justice.
Somebody dumped her a few feet from here. The blood traces on the ground indicate she was dragged. That's this green-blue shit under her arm. No idea what it might be, but there is more of it around. Her heels had to touch the ground when the body was dragged. Nasty wound. Looks like she was hit with a blunt object, possibly a hammer. Yeah, it probably belonged to our victim. Let's try to find other clues. Poor Casey. Custom extended wheelbase. Have you seen a vehicle like this around? No. Nah. But that narrows it down significantly. Good catch, Robo. I can help you find the guy who dumped the body here. I saw him, but you must accept the truth. Tell me what you know. Uh, it's as simple as it gets. Aliens did it. Aliens? I've been investigating them for years. They send rats to spy on me. They don't want me to show you this list. It's a list of aliens living in Detroit. All 37,617 of them. The murderer included. Most likely a van with a custom extended wheelbase. Does your list contain any information on such a vehicle? Jackpot! I've got a guy with a van that matches your description. I don't know his ID, but I know where you can find him. A film set near the courthouse. They're shooting a TV commercial and it's run by aliens, so it all makes sense. Casey must have discovered something there, and they got her. That must have been what's happened. Why do you think that aliens run the set? Who do you think runs the advertising business? They're stuffing commercials with subliminal messages. They, they, they use additional film frames with commands to make us obey. Don't you know what happens to those who watch TV? I will verify your statement. Nevertheless, I recommend you consult a psychiatrist at the earliest possible time. Now, the set. Drew a gun. Ask me for money. Only a moron steals from a beggar. That's what I said. 
Then he started shooting. See that guy down there? He's an asshole. It ain't raining. What's up, sugar? Looking for some company? Good evening. Was Casey Carmel a friend of yours? She was found dead a few hours ago. So it's true. I usually don't talk to the cops, but Casey bragged she met with some rich guy from TV. She was gonna milk him dry. But who the guy was? Only Casey knew. That's all I know. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a custom <clears throat> someone waiting for me. What is happening here? Uh, they're shooting a TV commercial for Sunblock 5000. Night does not seem an appropriate time for such practice. Yeah, they ran into some problems, and it's running later than expected. I swear, we're staying here until we finish, or you're doing it without me. Jerry, don't you think you're being unreasonable? You better find us another understudy so we can get this over with. Let him in. We don't want to hinder the work of law enforcement. I have reason to believe that someone from your crew is involved in a crime. We found a green-blue substance like your sunblock at the crime scene. The suspect was driving a van with a custom extended wheelbase. We use a lot of different vans, but I wouldn't know if they're the type you're looking for. In that case, I would like to look around. Actually, you could be of some use to me, too. I have a problem here, and its name is Jerry. Jerry Jenkins. I need a reason to cancel his contract, and I think you could find one for me. That does not sound like a task of a police officer. Ah, but it could be, though. I'm sure he's guilty of something. You just have to find out what it is. I can give you access to anything without a warrant. I can make trouble for anyone who deserves it. I believe that. Dig deep. I bet Mr. Big Shot doesn't have a clear conscience. Start with the computer. There's a list of vehicles allowed to park on set there, but... Look for something on Jenkins, too.
I am looking for... Look, I'm busy. <laughs> but you know what? I, I like your paint job. It would look nice on my new car. Can you leave me your card or something? The evidence I have gathered shows that you are connected to the investigation that I am conducting. So what? I read your messages. They seem to connect you with the case. Would you like to explain? <laughs> You've read my private messages? How did you get access to them? That bitch sent you after me, didn't she? She's looking for a way to screw me over and hide her incompetence. You want to investigate something, then ask her about the guy she hired as the understudy. His face looks like a walking mugshot. On top of that, I bet he's the one who stole my ring. See what she has to say about him, pal. I spoke with Jenkins. He mentioned that you hired a criminal. This individual may be the perpetrator I am looking for. You mean the understudy? Did Jenkins tell you that I hired him? He was the one who recommended him for the job. Don't believe me? Check the camera footage to see what good friends they are. Where is the understudy now? I have no idea. And that's the whole point. We can't keep shooting because he's disappeared. I hope the guys in the hospital are worse, because if he's not, I'll kill him myself. <laughs> it's a joke, of course. You understand jokes, don't you? Why did you hire the understudy? Jenkins' contract says he will not use sunblock, and none of the professional understudies wanted to do it either. They all say it's toxic. So I had no choice. Jenkins brought a guy and said he could do the job. Show me the footage. Check the camera footage. Who are you, pal? Your agent sent me. Special services. Pussies, man. I've got a place. Of course, Mr. Jenkins, I'll take- Take it and get lost! The smell of hard-boiled eggs mixing with this green shit makes me want to puke. Looking at your face doesn't help either. You! You mentioned something about special services. Only the best in Detroit. I find that hard to believe. I've got just the girl for you. Her name's Casey. She's- No names.
Your understudy offered you the services of a prostitute. She was likely the prostitute who was killed. People offer me things all the time, but that doesn't mean I accept every one of them. Withholding information about illegal activity is also a crime. Ha! <laughs> if that's the case, I wouldn't be the only criminal in this goddamn business. You know what? Now that I think about it, why shouldn't I help the law enforcement of this here beautiful city? Where can I find the understudy? He works at a gas station nearby. But I don't think that's his main source of income. I am not done with you yet. Do not leave the city. Sunblock is the least of your worries. Look, I know why you're here, but I'm innocent! I swear! You are being detained in connection with the murder of Casey Carmel. If you require medical attention, it will be given to you. I didn't do it! Jenkins killed her! Jerry Jenkins, the guy from TV! You have to believe me! You will make your statement at the station. And you'll let Jenkins walk free! He's the one who killed Casey! They met here yesterday! Casey's body was covered in sunblock. The evidence points to you. I arranged the meeting, I admit, but I was gone when this happened. When I came back, she was already dead, and I decided to get rid of the body. Jenkins is the only one who could have done it! Why would Jenkins kill that woman? I don't know. I wasn't there. Are you stalling? She may have mentioned something about wanting to blackmail Jenkins, but I knocked the idea out of her head. At least I think I did. Why did you not go to the police? What would I say? That a famous celebrity killed a street prostitute in the back of my gas station? That's a bit much even for this city. Dumping that woman's body in a dumpster seemed like a better idea to you. It's not my fault that people would rather believe a guy from TV over me. Why would Jenkins be meeting a prostitute here when there is a motel across the street? His agent got a hold of me and told me that the guy values his privacy. The money was good and I was able to provide him with a discreet option. And Jenkins was happy with the arrangement. He was bitching at first, but when he saw Casey, he stopped being so picky. I will verify your version of events. 
but you will still suffer the consequences of the actions you have taken. Hurry up, please! It burns! So, did you find anything? According to the evidence, Jenkins is guilty of the murder of Casey Carmel. I told you! However, you are guilty of concealing a crime and desecration of a corpse. I will call medical assistance. You will be taken in when your condition permits. Can't let you in, Robo. They're in the middle of a shot. This cannot wait. They say that 20 seconds in the California sunshine is too much these days. Ever since we lost the ozone layer. I have a solution for you if you are looking for some protection against that California sunshine. The hell? A stay in Detroit prison. Jerry Jenkins, you are under arrest for the murder of Casey Carmel. I've seen you on TV. You're glitching again! Ah, it hurts! 
for fuck's sake, it hurts! <laughs>